unique thing about Isla Mirada, being in the middle of the Florida Keys, it offers you so many opportunities. The fly fishing school has been uh, a real unique experience. I got into guiding a long time ago just because of my love of fishing. Yep. Yeah. Good job, buddy! And if anybody can handline a tarp, then Rob can. <laughs> hey, is he big enough? I think he's big enough. <laughs> I think you got a nibble. I met Paul when I was in high school. Uh, my dad liked to work on boats, and he was very good at it. He'd rig trolling motors and make push poles and fix polling towers and things like that. And Paul guided part-time and uh, brought his boat over to the house one day, and, and my dad was doing some things for him, and we started talking, and immediately we just kind of hit it off. His dad was good friends with Captain Bill Curtis, and they showed us a lot of things about techniques and tricks, and Al Fluger was another instrumental uh, mentor of ours that uh, we all got together and met with and talked to in, in Rob's garage. So, and for Rob, still in high school, it was a, it was a good time uh, to meet him and to be impressed with somebody that knew so much about fishing at such a young age. There you go. Yeah, the trout's got my number here. I like that goat. They're getting bigger. Mm -hmm. Our friendship has gotten so strong over the years, but at the same time, we're separated because we used to be roommates. So we used to live in the same house, which was great. And that was at the beginning of, pretty much the beginning of my guiding career, but definitely at the beginning of his. And, and it's all changed because of families and kids and responsibilities and how, how uh, you know we get torn in different directions but uh, now that our kids are grown and we're starting to get more time we start seeing each other more and more but that friendship has always been the same. Well, that's a nice trout for around here. You're smoking me. I started fishing in the Everglades when I was 13 years old. My uncle took me for my first trip out there and we caught tarpon, we caught redfish, we caught snook. It was a great time that really got me involved in fishing in the Everglades. And then I had a friend that really knew the Everglades very well and he took me, uh, he was older than I was, and took me into the Everglades and showed me what he knew. And it just progressed into this love of the Everglades and of the fish that are there. Uh, the snook fishing, the red fishing was, was amazing. And it just it was all sight fishing and all sight fishing related. So it, that's what got me. And that t turned me from there onto bone fishing and then tarpon fishing, permit fishing. So everything evolved from my trips to the Everglades and when I was a kid. And it was so much fun that it ended up being a lifelong venture for me. Let's work our way up the scale, huh? Yeah, keep going up. Oh, I just had a follow right there. Did you? Yeah. Maybe he came back. Maybe a second chance. <laughs> yeah. There's like a penny back here. Like the color of my robe, dude. Yeah. Look at him. It's been a long time. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Yeah. Something to acknowledge the work. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Good man. Good. Way to see him follow. Nice. I knew that Rob was fishy the first time he came on my boat. So he he was one of these guys that he was only 16 or 17 years old when we first started fishing together. And he already knew so much and already cast the fly rod so well that um, 
that it was just such a pleasure. We just shared information and, and kept exploring together many different places from Key West to the Everglades. And just every time we could get together, we did. You see that weight come up behind you. Well, yeah, great. man, he was aggressive. Yeah. He came like 10 feet to eat that thing. Well, we need to have some more days off where we go have fun, man. Yeah, exactly. Not, we're not work so much. Exactly. We've been working so hard all these years that we don't get the chance to do this very often. But we see each other a lot. We do. From one boat at the to office. the other. At the office. <laughs> That's right, at the office, from one boat to another. Sometimes a push pole length away, yep. but, but we're there. In Big Pine Key in Florida's Lower Keys, the nightlife is hot. The cuisine is top notch. You can even stay where stars hang out. What's the scene like in Big Pine and the Lower Keys? It's pretty wild. The Sea Hunter is brought to you by the Florida Keys and Key West. Come as you are. Sea Hunter boats, indestructible, unsinkable. Yeti coolers, built for the wild. Yamaha outboards. Wet sounds, the ultimate sound machine for your boat. Quantum and Finor, inshore and offshore reels since 1933. The unique thing about Isla Mirada, being in the middle of the Florida Keys, it offers you so many opportunities. You can go in the Atlantic and fish for, for billfish, dolphin, kingfish. You can go in the backcountry in Florida Bay, or you can actually make the run over to the glades. It's close enough, the way the Keys wrap around to the mainland of South Florida, that, that the Everglades are reachable from Isla Mirada. And I think it's one of those unique destinations that offers the most amount of options. Sandy Moret came from Georgia, but has been in the Keys for, for nearly 30 years. Besides being one of the best fly anglers ever to, to fish the tournaments, he took it upon himself to, to want to pass on that knowledge and created probably the best saltwater fly school in the world. We uh, started a school in 1989. I went to a seminar, Chico and Flip and Lefty and some folks put together over on the west coast of Florida. This is about uh, 30 years ago. So on the way home, I'm thinking to myself, God, we ought to do that in the Keys where we have a lot of good restaurants and a lot of good fishing guides and hotels and things like that. I thought about it and then got back to the Keys. I called the guys on the phone. I said, you guys want to teach at school over in the Keys? And everybody said, yeah, we'll do that. You put, put it together and get everybody to show up and pay us and we'll be there. <laughs> Notice his he was not looking at the fish that whole time. He was totally concentrating on where the line was until it got on the reel. That's where half the fish are lost, I see, with, with customers. You know, once I reached a, a certain point in my guiding career that I felt like I was pretty knowledgeable and I had a lot of tournament victories under my belt, I guess Sandy thought that, that I would be a, a good candidate to have as a teacher at the school. Paul started working with us at the school a few years after Rob, maybe 10 years ago, something like that. He's been a great addition. I think one of the things that we stress at the fly fishing school and when we're teaching on the boat is that uh, it's important to learn proper casting so that you can fish anywhere in the world. If, if you just learn how to cast in one situation, like learn how to roll cast in fresh water when you're in tight quarters, and then you come out here, you can't really fish. So, so what we try to teach is a global uh, lesson. Once your elbow starts getting out here, you get in a weaker position. Okay. So, so keep your elbow in, but loose at the same time. Mm. You want it floating in there. Right in here. Yeah, keep it in. There you go. See how that loop was much tighter? Yeah. I decided to take this fly fishing class because being from Minnesota, I've been an avid bass angler for many years. And this is really opening up a whole nother world of fishing and for different species of fish. Um, these guys are the best of the best. And the reality is it's not that far away. I can use this 
technique in the lakes of Minnesota or the streams of Montana or frankly out here in God's creation of the Isle of Murata Keys is beautiful. There's nothing more satisfying for a guide than to have taught somebody from the beginning how to fly fish and watch them grow as an angler. Hey, what's up, man? What's up? How are you? Good, good. It's looking pretty good, huh? This weather's turning out nice. You want to go tomorrow? It's getting warm. I think it's a I good time. I got nothing to do. Let's do it. I've been dying to go. Hey, it's I, been too I found, long for I you and me. I found some tarpon the other day, and it was windy, but tomorrow is supposed to be calm. Were they big tarpon? Oh, they were giant. <laughs> I can't, all you I, can't, say. I can't imagine the planets are going to align perfectly for us, but it look, it's looking pretty good. Let's try. Sounds good. All right. See I'll call you. you tonight. Okay. All right. Good. Keep up with The Sea Hunter on social media. Follow us on Instagram and like us on Facebook. You can also visit us at theseahuntertv.com. Thinking Slim Shady. <laughs> I kind of want to maybe go to the glades. I know it's a little run, you know, it's maybe an hour run, but with this weather and this time of year, man, you know, you know how that can be. It just changed, man. The yeah. weather just got yeah. good, and you know, we could fish Florida Bay, but I just my gut's telling me that we need to go to the glades. Just hop in the boat, go across. Run into shark and see what happens. Well, you had me chummed up when you said that you saw a bunch of big fish there the other and, day. And that, so. that's another thing maybe yeah. that, that is leading me into to thinking that's where we need to be, especially with this weather. So. Well, I'm with you. All right. I'm just glad <laughs> we're going, man. I'm excited. Me too. The Everglades is special in tarpon fishing because it happens at the very beginning. The, the very beginning of the season, uh, as soon as it starts getting warm in the winter time, is when the tarpon start thinking about moving into these Everglades areas. I was so excited about today. Yesterday I was washing the boat and I get all my tackle out. I was tying new leaders on everything. I felt like I was getting ready for a tournament. I was so excited that I got to actually go fishing with a buddy. I know. For tarpon. I mean, we never get to do that. Yeah. Is, is that a tail? Yeah. This side of the yep. lake one. Let's get this high swing. Okay, wait a minute, it's work. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh! Come on, he's right under it. Oh, oh man, he's right under the fly. He's wearing it like a mustache. <laughs> There's so many behind him. God dang, dude. You know what, if this was easy, it wouldn't be as much fun. You well, know exactly. They're making us work a little bit. Yeah. That's all it is. Come on, fish. Yeah. 
Yes, yes. Shit. Just couldn't see him, man. It's hard work up there when you're not pulling, isn't it? It is. Like wears on your back. And shit. you're not catching them, I know. Wears on your head. <laughs> Mentally. Getting active with this water heating up. Yeah. These fish lay around, they're lazy, they're giant, and they tend to bite the fly well if you get the right conditions. Look look up there to your left. Yeah, in that area right there. I kind of see something, but I can't tell. I see the water shaking there. Yeah. You see him or you that, just guess? No, I'm, I'm guessing right at that angle. Yeah, yeah. Right in there, keep looking. Come on. Yep, 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 there you go. There you go. Bobby, oh, you fed that boy so nice. Whew. That's what I'm talking about. Finally, bro. Yeah, my man. Whew. Big fish, it looks like. Yeah, he is. Expect a big jump out there. Ooh, that is a slob. <laughs> I'd have been fine with a 50 pounder. <laughs> the last time we caught a tarpon together, you were a kid. <laughs> you know, I think that's right. I know that's right. What was I, 18? You're like 18, 18 or 19. Might get a jump here, buddy. Oh, yeah. It looks like a tarpon, only bigger, buddy. <laughs> Oh, yeah. She looked a little more tired there. I like big butts. <laughs> By the way, I just looked down. Uh -huh. This is a nine weight. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> We're using That's a, a redfish rod, Rob. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I like the way you stay relatively tight to them on those jumps. That's Well, you know, you don't pull, but you just kind of stay in touch. So important, yeah. so important. Because that's when they you fall know, off right there. So many people want to give them slack, total slack, and right. that's not really that great either. Yeah, you don't want to pull, that's but right. you don't want to lose touch with them. But then again, you see it all in slow motion. Yeah, right, that's true. <laughs> You're seeing every head shake and every movement he's making, and to everybody else it seems like a blur. Yeah. Oh, I love seeing it one time with you, though, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> ah! There's no espresso machine. No smiling barista. Just you and an axe. You're welcome to a hot cup of comfort. But you gotta serve yourself. The Sea Hunter is brought to you by Ray Marine, Simply Superior. Mojo Sportswear, get your mojo on. Garmin, we'll take you there. Alvarez General Boats. Sea Star Solutions. Best Fab. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah. Well, like I said, no, we have, we have a nine weight. <laughs> I think this is still doable, bro. That's what happens when you bring a, a knife to a gunfight. <laughs> if you don't mind, when I get up there, I'll use a 12 weight. <laughs> yeah, I think I have one. I'm gonna let her come around the back and then try and bring her around this other side. Okay, because it's gonna be a quick one. Oh! <laughs> well, hey, bud, <laughs> we weren't gonna do much else with that anyway. <laughs> that was awesome, bro. That was good job, awesome. good job. Wow, <sighs> deal with adversity. Whew. In the words of uh, Ralph Delf. Yeah. The morning was awesome. Paul pulled me to, to a bunch of fish. I finally caught one. As hard as he worked for me, I really wanted to end the day with him catching a fish. 
And now I'm back on the end I'm used to. <laughs> <laughs> I have to admit, I really like being on that end. <laughs> it was pretty good to be on the pulling end. <laughs> yeah. Got one. That's good. Good. Trip, 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 trip. You're right in. Come on, come on. Keep, 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 keep. Yep. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Yeah. Way to feed that fish, bro. Yeah, baby. <laughs> hey, is he big enough? I think he's big enough. <laughs> I think he got a nibble. Dude, he, he did a 180. <laughs> he did. He passed the fly, came yep. back, and ate it. That was so badass. Swimming through the air jump. Oh, baby. <laughs> Woo! I got a lot of reeling in to do. <laughs> Man, what a hot fish, huh, buddy? <laughs> Dang. You stuck that sucker, and he, he says, I'm gone. Dude, I stuck him so good, too. Let me know if I need to slow down or. Doing good. You've done this once or twice. Do we have any fly line on this one? I was going to say, I was, where's your dang fly line? <laughs> I know he there's had, one on he the had end to there. have taken 500 yards. Dude, that thing was gone. There's a fly line coming there up. There we go. If I wouldn't have cranked up, he'd have dumped it. Yeah, I think so. Caught fish. Got the leader. Good job, bro. Let's have some fun with it. This Moby Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Thing's giant. That's good. Look at him. Oh, yeah. look at him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Look at that thing, dude. I'm not sure that one's not bigger than mine. I'm thinking it's close. But you got an 11 weight. You know, let's not go there. <laughs> you ain't gonna break that thing. <laughs> He's tired. Look at him. We've only caught two tarpon today, but I think they, I think accumulatively they were about 300 pounds. <laughs> about 300 pounds of poon. <laughs> you know, as, as she's coming like this, Yeah. try pulling her around the left side of the bow. Okay. I know that's not the angle you really want to pull, but just Try to break that pattern. Trying to keep that fly in. No, that was excellent work there. <laughs> I think he's starting to feel like he's not going to get away. I may let go here. Bro. Yeah, let go, let go. Don't have it. OK. I still do. Grab his mouth while it's open, baby. You got him. Yeah, he's beat. Yeah, my friend. I got her now, baby. Oh, yeah. Once Rob says he's got her, he's got her, baby. <laughs> Woo! That's a hell of a fish, bro. Beautiful fish. Maybe my biggest one. Dude, that thing's huge. Hey, man. We did it. <laughs> that's the way it's done. Look at that girth, huh? That's that's the biggest one I've caught personally. Dude, that thing yeah. is a slob. Yeah. All right, here we go. Yeah, she swam off good. Yeah. Oh, my brother. <laughs> hey. That's you know excellent. There, there's no one I'd rather do this with. Really. <laughs> Me too. Me too. Me too. We go way back, man. That was beautiful. Wow. That's the first time we've ever done that. I think it is. You and I caught a fish same day. Yeah. Two big Two fish. Two big fish. Woo. Yours was a little more normal than mine. <laughs> a I, little, I, I had to break my rod on mine. A little mine. bit more of a, an 11 weight. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, shoot. Woo. I don't know how we could better that. You want to go have a beer? Let's go. Ha, 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 ha.